Another common question is what do guardian items do? The initial part of their investigation requires them to speak with each of the parties, usually the parents in the case, and the children or child, assuming they are at an age where they can communicate wishes or effectively communicate in general. Sometimes the children are just too young where an interview or interaction isn't used, but it's still helpful for guardian items to see or meet with the child to see that they're safe and doing well. Oftentimes the guardian litem will talk with significant others of the parents or other relatives or friends or even teachers who are involved with the family or have contact with the children. Sometimes the guardian litem will talk with counselors who are meeting with the children in the event there are some concerns with respect to the child that may affect custody or placement decisions. Oftentimes the interview with the child will take place at a school. That's because the child generally feels safe there and they are away from any influence that might come from being at a particular parent's home. In nearly every case, there are several interviews and meetings between the guardian litem and the parents and the children because very rarely does all the information come out at that first meeting, especially when you're speaking with children. 